Andy. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Good Come on to see in, man. You. These houses are beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we put a lot into this one. So tell me real quick, what is like the elevator pitch, like the quick 30 second spiel on Pike? First of all, we were co-founded uh, by my business partner and myself. Mm -hmm. And our core goal with every single home is to basically build the model home. If we can do that as a luxury spec builder, meaning we make all the selections, we make all the design choices in-house, the homeowner doesn't have to deal with any of that. They just come in and they basically walk into a model home. So if there's an opportunity for an upgrade, we're gonna try to do it. And every home it feels like is truly one of a kind. Exactly, you got it. All right, so I got a two-parter for you. Okay. First, what would you say is like your favorite part about what Pike does? Okay. And then the second, since you said that you know, each of these are built as a model or like a one of a kind type of home. What's your favorite part about this one? Mm, I like that one. Actually, I'm gonna start with number two. Sure. So let's head to the outside. I'll show you what's going on up okay. there. Here's where it gets kind of exciting and fun. Okay. We can really, really just kind of flex our guns when it comes to the creativity. Mm -hmm. So everything from, you know, the windows going all the way down to the ground. They're huge. Adding in wing walls around the fireplace mm -hmm. to just give it a little, you know, not that boxy feel, just something a little different. So That's we awesome. just have a lot of options and different things that we could do out here. So to me, what's awesome is like all of these different features are so unique and like the fact that it feels like it's custom, it feels like something that your neighbor doesn't have. They may have something that's awesome, but it's gonna be different than this. Well, that's the fun part about what we do in our business model. It's why we created it this way, frankly. Mm -hmm. How can you guys like sit in front of a buyer and say, here's the floor plan, here's the rendering of the external piece of the house, everything inside, you just gotta trust us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was a lot harder in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. But truthfully, I mean, obviously our, our online presence has helped out significantly with that. Uh, it's one of the reasons we always opt to either over improve or at least be the top of the market with our selections. Because uh, let's be honest, like selections are way more difficult than people think. As I remember sitting in uh, Ferguson and selecting lighting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we're just thumbing through like hundreds of pages of books, 15 books on the table. I pick a $2,000 light, I'm like, from my personal home. And I'm like, that's the one. Mm -hmm. $2,000 light, it's beautiful light, right? Yeah, and my business so. partner looks at me, he's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm like, why? He goes, well, if you pick that light, then I need to change the plumbing. And then that's not gonna line up with this and that. And like the domino effect mm -hmm. happens quickly. So yeah. we completely remove that stress from the buyer. Yeah, and I get it. It's, that's an uneasy feeling, right? I'm, I'm buying a luxury home mm -hmm. and someone's telling me this, yeah, trust me, it'll, it'll be great. In-house, we don't allow any change orders or anything like that because we don't want our brand to veer from what helped us get here. Mm -hmm. You mentioned luxury. So what would be like the average price point, your, your typical buyer, like what are they looking for when they come to Pike? Yeah, so it's, it's all over the board what they're looking for. Sometimes we fit that mold, sometimes we don't. Mm -hmm. So we're completely infill, you know, no further out than about 10 to 15 minutes from Center City. It can range anywhere now about one six to up to three million, somewhere in that range. That's good to know. I gotta yeah. keep that in mind yeah. when I get those calls. That's right. <laughs> and you touched on your online presence. I can't leave here without bringing up your Instagram. <laughs> because you guys absolutely crush it on Instagram. We just saw uh, a shift that needed to be made. Obviously the, the Instagram did blow up and it's doing very well right now and it's 100% it's organic, which we're very, very proud of. Part of that was you know hiring somebody full-time to manage it. Mm -hmm. uh, the other part, honestly, I have to give credit to my business partner to be so concise with the brand and refine it and make sure every photo, every home is very, very meticulous even though we pre-sell everything at this point, we're still gonna stage it. We're still gonna get architectural photos that might cost us five to, I think the last one was $7,500 in photos. Wow. And, and obviously video and all that, I mean, that's a marketing expense. Like, that's how we're building that brand. We have to invest in ourselves. And I think it's genius the way you're doing that because it all kind of goes hand in hand. You had mentioned that you try to stay really close to Uptown and Center mm -hmm. City. What are some of the neighborhoods that you're primarily in? Yeah, so I mean, we really cut our teeth in Cotswold. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we built about 40 homes in Cotswold in the last five years or so. Um, and then sort of that South Park-ish area, Providence Park, um, Mammoth Oaks, 
Okay. And then, of course, we're here today in Sedgefield. So speaking of Sedgefield, uh, I, I love how close it is to everything. I actually have to run to go meet my friend Joy right down the street on the rail trail. So thank you again for having me here. It's just so cool to learn about what you guys are doing and how you do it and just what the, the process is that goes into it. You got it, man.